guys about another video and we got the patch notes for the uh x force volume 2 update so i'm gonna get into this skillful mutant mercenaries have gathered to stop the omega level clone and his evil ally with carbonadium tentacles the theme of august update is x force volume 2 cable has become the incarnation of war with his tier 4 advancement and the lucky assassin domino will chase evil mutants with her new uniform and war pass ability Look out for the counterattack of Strife, who has become stronger with Tier 3, and the new supervillain Omega Red. Alright, and now, here's the kicker. Try out Shadowland, which has been improved, and will now be the new Battlefield of Mutants. So, that's, that's going to be important. So, Shadowland is getting a rework, thank God. Okay, various improvements such as an additional new Custom Gear CTP of Conquest. And a new normal comic cards with additional pierce damage increase as an option has been made, so don't miss the changes. So we're getting a new CTP, which is kind of PvP oriented or other world battle, uh, depending on how you look at it. And we're getting new comic cards with additional pierce if you don't have pierce already on your premium card. So it's kind of free to play friendly uh, comic cards, if you say. Alright, so one new super villain instead of a hero. Uh, Omega Red has carbonadium tentacles. Had to fight against other mutants endlessly to regain his ability. So, we're going to check him out. Alright, so Omega Red is combat. Super villain mutant male. Alright, now you can get him through the X Gene Selector, spe uh, the Special Growth, uh, the Store Hero Chest, Premium Chest. And you can get him for free in the next for in the next two weeks when we get the the original well the other uh event. So it's the X Force Volume 2 themed update celebration event quest shop. So he's kinda like spot. So he will be free. And I'm gonna do that. I'm not spending no money on uh exchange or whatever. I'm I'm gonna wait for the two weeks. I'm gonna get it for free get him out the way and he does not have a transcendence or a tier 3 so he is going to be a uh, tier 1 character so uh, maybe in the mid month I give him a tier 3 or a transcendence so we have to wait and see okay so we're going to get to his skills uh, his leadership all allies all speed and then his self gives himself a 30% increase of physical attack. His 4 star passive gives him super armor, all defense. And when HP is below 99%, he has a 5% heal for 1 second on a 1 second cooldown. So he kind of has a Wolverine uh, healing factor. Uh, his tier 2 passive gives him a 35% increase of HP, which is nice. 40-30 uh, skill damage, bonus damage, and 20% of decreased damage. Uh, his first skill has snare and incapacitation and a 15% heal with a barrier up to 6 times for 3 seconds on a 7 second cooldown. Uh, tentacle slam, he has paralysis. Uh, Omega whip, he has burn and all defense down. 100% uh, chance to grant all damage immunity with accumulation. A 1% accumulation. Uh, four skill has stun and all defense down, uh, increases all basic attack by 50%. And his fifth skill, Carbonadium Carnage, gives him a uh, snare, incapacitation, invincible, and a 55 30 frenzy buff. So that's Omega Red. So he does have some qualities for ABX and ABL, <clears throat> but like I said, you can't really do nothing with a uh, tier 2. Uh, character, so we'll have to wait and see what he gets in the mid month. Alright, the three new uniforms is going to be Cable, Strife, and Domino. They're all going to be a thousand and fifty for the uh, when the update lands. Alright, so Cable has the crit rate increased by 20%, crit damage by 30%, and he has the 35% chain hit. <laughs> Uh, he has uh, his ultimate skill has uh, invincible, 
all defense down and increase basic damage. You have the damage proc for 80% for one attack. <clears throat> so you probably want to land it on the tier tier three. Or his four star passive gives him 85% chance to penetrate with barrier, all damage immunity, and invincible. So pretty nice. Oh, his tier 2 passive gives him guaranteed crit rate by 30%. And he has skill damage, bonus damage, 25-45. Oh, his first skill has snare. Second skill has silence and paralysis. Third skill has paralysis with a 15% heal. Now, super armor, barrier, and accumulation. Uh, fourth skill has burn and paralysis. And he has a 60-35 frenzy buff. And his fifth skill has burn, uh, decrease of recovery rate, stun, incapacitation, invincible, and a 70% damage proc for one attack. <clears throat> so, maybe ABX, ABL, once again for cable. Kind of hope, not kind of hope you can use it for a uh, World Boss Legend also. All right, now Strife, which is Blast Super Villain. All right, and his uh, uniform effect when debuffed, it activates when debuffed, and all allies removes all debuff for 12 seconds on a 20 second cooldown. So it will be up all the time. Uh, his leadership, all allies gets uh, all defense. Oh, it's tier two passive because he's a native tier two. Uh, he still has an 80% chance to penetrate everything and a skill damage bonus damage 50 30, which is also good. Uh, first skill has stun and fracture. Second skill, stun, snare, incapacitation. Third skill has a counterattack, eye frame, ignore. Shock, fracture, incapacitation. Third percent uh, recover of HP, which is nice. And a 1.2 accumulation. Uh, his fourth skill has shock, silence, and capacitation, and a 50, 15, and 20 frenzy buff. And his fifth skill has silence, fracture, incapacitation, invincible, and a 100% damage proc. So he does have some capabilities for uh, ABL, but I'm thinking more of the line of other world battle because he's just gonna be a tier three so so I'm thinking other world battle all right domino which is a superhero or her uniform effect for self increases all basic attack by 35 percent uh chain hit damage by 15 percent and 30 percent chance to increase crit damage by 100 percent on crit attacks okay and then her uh Four star passive, same. The dodge rate is increased by 20%. Guard break immunity and uh, damage reduction by 30%. Uh, her first skill has burn. Uh, second skill has paralysis. Third skill has a counter attack, eye frame ignore with burn. Uh, removes active buffs and paralysis. And she has a 40% chance to penetrate. Super armor, uh, damage immunity. And a increase of all basic attack by 13% per 1% of pure damage received. And she has accumulation. Accumulates pure damage up to 15% of max HP. And reflects 35% of damage received. So, <clears throat> looking like Otherworld Battle also. And her 4 skill has burn. A 20% heal, which is nice. A uh, 50 30 frenzy buff, and the fifth skill has burn, stun, 80% chance to miss attacks, uh, invincible, and a 100% damage proc, and decreases damage taken from enemies by 40%. Okay, and increases basic damage dealt to them by 25%, excluding bosses. So yeah, she looks like she's going to be for Other World Battle also, which is okay. So, because <clears throat> Jane and Spider-Man 
has basically been debuffed the whole entire time for um, Otherworld Battle. Alright, now for Cables Tier 4, which is called Focus Enforced. And it does uh, have the capabilities of uh, Carnage, I mean, of uh, Venom, where it recharges. Every time you use the Tier 4, it recharges Tier 3 skill, uh, skill gauge. Uh, it recharges his gauge by 15% for one second. Acquires the following effect for 10 seconds. Activation rate when skill, regular skills exclude is used. And it increases all basic attack by 20%. So, he kind of has the uh, shadow shell effect. So, eh. So he had the shadow shell mixed in with venom. So I don't know how to feel about that one, but okay. Uh, Stripes tier three, which is wind control, which he throws a, a big meteor at you, and it has whirlwinds. So that's basically what his skills contain: just whirlwinds. Or right, it has stun, fracture, again incapacitation, ignore target dodge rate by eighty percent, invincible, and Increases all basic attack. Alright. And Domino and Warpath are getting the Transcendent because they are a part of X Force and not Phantom X. <clears throat> so I should have I should have seen that coming. And he would not get a uniform, just a transcendence. So we're gonna check that out. So Wow, I like that they have the X in the floor. That's pretty cool. So Domino shoots her guns, Warpath with his uh, blaze, and they create an X in the floor. I, that is, that's dope. <laughs> I like that. Okay. All right, now here's the, the big kicker, Shadowland improvements. Battle in Shadowland, more conveniently, and collect tokens to exchange for various growth materials at the exclusive shop. So we're finally getting a Shadowland shop. Now right, the auto progress feature has been added to floors 1 to 15. Proceed with battles of the current season conveniently with the same settings of the clear record of the previous season. So, uh, whatever uh, character you use from floor 1 to 15, you can use and you can hit auto progress. As you can see, it's going to be right here where it says enter Shadowland. Oh, I love that Shadowland shop. I love it. All right, uh, number two is going to be the stage batch clear feature has been added to floor 1 to 25 but you have to have the shield uh, special support so alright so only agents who have purchased the shield special support can use batch clear using the same season with the clear record of the previous season the stages can be cleared without battles so it's kinda like clear tickets so that kinda saves you a lot of time at least to floor 25 because from 30 and up you need other uh, you need to use like a little higher character or well, specific characters and there's the shield support right there as you can see you have Shadowland batch clear up to floor 25 Shadowland tokens and Shadowland 36 and up are 10% more so and which I buy that every two weeks because of the uh, inventory slots. So that's going to be pretty cool. And as you can see, the uh, shell line batch clear. And which is going to use your character that you use, but you automatically get the rewards from it. So that's pretty nice. Okay. And then the kicker right here, the Shadowland shop has been added. The Shadowland tokens can be used to purchase items at the Shadowland shop. Shadowland tokens can be acquired from floor 36, depending on the number of surviving heroes. Agents can possess up to 60,000 tokens. Some items have a purchase limit, which is reset based on a specific period. The agents with the shield support can receive additional tokens. So, uh, from once you clear 35, 36 and up is where, and I'll show you. As you see, I'm on Chrome on 36. All 
All right, so as you can see, the little Shadowland chest down here. You click on that, and these are the rewards that are in, that are random in the Shadowland chest. You have fully awakened ISO, semi awakened ISO, six star and five star uh, Uru. You have uh, five to six star comic cards, and then you have uh, extreme boost. Uh, five to six star uh, obelisk, gear up kit, hidden ticket with the knife, golden knife, and then you have a random chance to get a CTP. I got one before, which was a long time ago. So now, and as you can see, uh, every 10 character you use, you get a shadow lane chest. So, but now we get tokens, which is very nice, very nice. So we'll get token instead of the chest. <clears throat> so that's gonna be that's gonna be great. So and you can use up the three characters. So alright. And as you can see right here, for a hundred token you get a shadow lane chest. So hopefully they'll stay the same. Hopefully, don't know yet. But as you can see, 11,000, you get a random CTP, 4,000, a random Odin Blessing chest. And as you can see, the uh, the monthly limit is one per month, and uh, it resets every, every week. So that's not bad. And it shows right here the items in the Shadowland uh, shop. For like I said, the Shadowland chest is 100 tokens. And it's unlimited, so you can get uh, 600 Shadowland chests if you wanted to. Uh, then the CTP, you can only get one per month for 11,000 tokens. Odin Blessing, you can get twice for 4,000 apiece, so that's 8,000 to get two Odin Blessings. Then you get... Uh, 300 black antimatter for a thousand tokens, which is a weekly limit of one. So you get one 300 per week. Uh, EOD is 200 for 15,000, well, 1500 tokens, one per week. And then this is what I'm going to be right here getting carbonadium 200 uh, for 2500 tokens, and you can get two monthly. So you can get up to 400 carbonadium uh, a month so like other world battle where you get 600 per month now you can get 400 up to 400 from Shadowlands so that's an extra thousand a month so definitely need that okay and auto play plus can be used without having to purchase the shadow the shield support okay Okay, that's not bad. So you can uh your character can auto play without uh, having to buy the shield support. Okay, then the power saving mode can be used when battling. Three stages that used to appear randomly have been changed to three fixed stages. Heroes used in previous seasons will be saved based on the change stages. Okay, the conditions of and heroes, villains that appear in some stages have been changed. So we're going to, have to uh, check that out once the update lands. So I'm definitely going to be getting those uh, tokens. Alright, and then the battle content improvement. The boost point usage can be set to always max and jump boss rate, which is nice. <clears throat> As you can see, just click the little arrow for always at max. Uh, agents can now proceed from the first stage of the theme when auto progressing story. So, when pr proceeding in the order, auto play is carried out in the order of stage. Only stages that have been cleared in the theme can be proceeded in order. It'll it'll stop when all characters are defeated. So, from st start from stage one, and then use your uh, auto designated character. So. <clears throat> I guess you can start from all the way to one, all the way up to dimensional clash, all the way up to the future ends here. So, in which that's going to be kind of tough because I always set like two teams. So, 
But other people that only sets up one team, they can do that. So <clears throat> that's up to them. And gained and lost points can now be checked when the other world battle fight ends. Debuffed heroes can now be checked at the hero deployment screen in other world battle. Another image of the special icon will now not be revealed in the other world battle info. Okay. And the abilities of opponents in the first difficulty of Dimension Rift has been decreased. <clears throat> and now for the new CTP. CTP of Conquest. As you can see, we have Garbrek Immunity. Recovery rate of 90%. Uh, when HP is below 50%, uh, it has a 10% recovery of HP, increases in 20% increase of max HP for 6 seconds, and it has a new effect called Wall, where it's a uh, damage decrease by 80%, which is nice. And then you have the reforged for Clash, and Clash is increases. Uh, basic damage by 60% with additional 50% chance of concentration and then for self it increases all basic attack and defense and then that's the mighty and then the brilliant which is uh, the clash will be uh, increased by 90% and the inc uh, increase of all basic attack and defense is 32% so we'll have to wait and see how uh, that one does and the new comic book uh comic card collections <clears throat> the new cards can now be acquired in the store so we'll have to uh, wait and see how that works or whatever so we have the doctor strange comics I have five of them go over that quickly we have doctor strange uh the oath number two the fixed stats are energy attack and additional pierce by 1.5%, which is kind of low. Okay, the third. So you can check these out yourself. Which, eh, okay. And we have Doctor Strange number five, uh, which additional pierce is 1.5, and it has physical attack. Okay, by 11%. <coughs> The third one, Doctor Strange number two, has max HP with additional pierce by 1.5%. Uh, the Doctor Strange number 10 has the same 1.5% pierce with 11% cooldown. And Doctor Strange Damnation number four, ignore defense with 1.5 additional pierce. Okay, so three, six. So seven and a half percent pierce if you get all of them, okay. <clears throat> and the new artifacts, which cable increases basic damage by 0.2 percent per one percent of crit rate, which is kind of new. Uh, Strife he recovers HP by two percent when HP is below 99. Uh, Omega Red increases all basic attack by five percent, and it stacks up to 60 percent. Uh, Domino has the 20% uh, chance to uh, dodge all attacks and a 50% chance to remove all debuffs. And Warpath is increased basic damage dealt to enemy with 50% of HP. And the new Future Pass where you get the uh, icons, Cable, and Domino. Then you have Warpath. And then we have Omega Red where you get the uh, CTP and the Comic Card. So. Alright, and the new uniform collection for the X-Force. <clears throat> and the line store has been improved. Instead of uh, 3, you can go up to 10. <clears throat> and the artifacts and uniform can be checked in the Marvel Universe. You know, crafting has been changed. And some game fix errors. So, that's it for the patch notes. Uh, I'm really excited for the Shadowlands shop. <clears throat> and then, with the update coming tonight, do not do your World Bosses. If you can do a World Boss Legend, that way you can try to get Cable's potential. 
uh, tomorrow, well, after the update, before the reset. So, do not do your World Boss Legends. So, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, I'll catch y'all guys in the next video.